Okay guys, so I'm going to do a review on Asmodan. I used him all day yesterday, well all day, I played you know, about 7-8 games with him. He's actually a really solid character. Um, my first game with him was beyond horrible because the first games with the hero, you kind of learn in what they're meant to do, but then you quickly learn, yeah, on my second or third game with him, I end up getting 34 kills, 4 deaths, which is uh, one of the latest videos on my YouTube channel, which you can probably see near this one, but this guy is really good in team fights, you know, he has all the minions he can summon out, uh, and a, a lieutenant he can summon out, and also he has all the big heavy nuke blasts that you can launch and, and do some crazy ray damage but we'll show the skins first so this is his default one yeah obviously if you don't know Asmodan Lord of Sin from Diablo uh, Diablo world and um, this is his green version and his sort of bluey version which looks pretty cool you know he looks like he's from the nether in uh, Minecraft and then he goes to his master skin which I think is one of the coolest master skins, yeah? Look at the difference. Yeah, his horns get the gold tips, his legs get the gold tips. You know, it is a huge all-round boost for the guy. He looks brilliant. Nipple rings stay the same, right? Then it goes to the purple again, which looks really good. And then the, the green, but all in all, that is the best, you know, the goal will really stand out in the battlefield, that's the main thing, you want to be noticed. And then it goes to his, I'm not sure what this is meant to be, I can't pronounce it, Asguldan, I think that's a wow thing. Um, then it goes to this version, the more silvered out, I don't really like it, the legs, the legs are just little blades, compared to, like, look at how rock solid that is, you know, the legs... He no longer has full feet. They've like they've been amputated and had a blade stuck on the side instead. If anything, I would go for that one. That would stand out. That he looks more like a big fat demon there. He looks smaller, but he just changes position. Okay, so this guy, obviously his mount or his legs, he's just set on fire. As you can see there, they look pretty sweet. And. Um, his abilities, I've not used the black black pool, but his demonic evasion, he basically just launches down meteorites and little grunts come out uh, as well if you choose a second ultimate. Um, but I say this guy, as long as you realise he doesn't, he can't get away from people and you plan how you're going to attack using your long range heavy, his heavy ball, which is like this thing, yeah, the globe of annihilation. That thing, it just gathers it and launches it, and it can do a lot of group damage. You know, it's very strong. And you summon all your demon warriors. You've got to use these demon warriors. You've got to use your generals. You know, that's how he can get on top of the DPS with people because I say he can't. Uh, and also, that all shell burn is very good because he can't get away at all. Not not even at level twenty. He doesn't have a blink. Um, so you got to be wise with your moves and learn that he needs to be in a team he can't really solo he can he can destroy buildings uh, because he can throw obviously these demons of the generals to soak up the cannons damage as he's using that all shall burn because there's there's one for the all shall burn um where it does do extra damage yeah structure damage by 50 percent so he, he can break through walls not not bad at all to be honest as long as you're increasing yeah, as long as you're being good with your minions and stuff like that you can but not early days early days he, he, no one can really take out the stuff very easily but he is a good group fighter he will help win things he will help chase invisible guys down that are running away because he will launch that global annihilation onto the obvious path they're gonna go I, I should have highlighted some videos where I've had Nova fleet away and I know she's gonna to head to the healing fountain so I just launched the ball just in front of the healing fountain and killed her and you know because it goes miles it goes way out your screen so you gotta like move the screen away and launch it and just best guess yeah he, he can be horrendously helpful but you just gotta be mindful that he can't get away yeah he's a he's just a big lumbering 
dude, which obviously that's what he is. He's just a big unit. Uh, but all in all, he's, his pros, great with the groups. Cons, he's not a good soloer, especially if you're coming up against Zero Tool. Zero Tool is always one guy. He just mints me for some reason. I died most times. I engaged him. But he's, yeah, later game, very in game, but more or less he can do structures quite well because his minions have actually got a decent amount of health then and he's always good in group fights throughout the whole thing that's his strong point is group fighting um, but yeah make sure you know you've got a plan of escape because it, when things are on you you need to keep your distance all those things are distance based yeah so use that distance the, the longest range attacks more or less problem sergeant hammers um, well global annihilation is the longest range uh, that you can constantly do out of all characters in, in Heroes of the Storm. So keep your distance, that way you can escape. Because when people are coming, you can just summon your demons out and, and use that as a chance to get your legs out, get your legs out and set them on fire and sprint off. But yeah, that's pretty much it. He's got to definitely have to play with him because he's really interesting uh, to use because he's very different with a lot of things you know he's just got some unique stuff that you got to really use to advantage otherwise it can cripple you if you go in face to face with most people you just get wiped and um, his health he does come with a lot of health you know this guy like level 20 has like nearly 6,000 health here he, he does he's quite bulky so you can take the hits but like I'm saying he doesn't have the DPS one on one to take out most people which ends up crippling him and killing him well, that's it, guys. That's my uh, uh, my review on this guy. That's as much as you guys really need to know. I'll do a, a build video for him next. And that's it. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.